Redditors who have actually won a lifetime supply of something. What was the supply you won? And how long did it actually last? I won free full body massages for life, which basically just translates to two massages a week. It was really good. I got addicted. I knew everyone who worked there and I got to experiment with all of them to see which were the best. Ended up fluctuating between three different staff towards the end. They would even train new staff on me for free because I spent so much time over there. Those training massages never cost me anything either or counted towards my two free massage a week limit. When the place closed down I realized just how expensive massages were. I haven't had one in ages and I miss it so bad. My stepdad won a lifetime supply of WD-40 in the 1990s. They sent him four, 16 ounce cans. He died in 2019. My mom still has two cans. When I was a kid 30 years ago, my dad said he'd won free pizza coupons, I think it was Domino's, and he had a massive stack of these little business cards, each for a free large pizza. My dad said we had to be careful using them, though, so we would only use them occasionally, and I remember my dad sometimes making me order the pizza, and answer the door to get the free pizza, even though I was only like, 9. Looking back, my dad worked for a commercial printing company and was not exactly an upstanding citizen. I'm pretty sure he didn't win those cards. This happened in the late 90s. A local bar in a wet t-shirt contest where the girl who won would win a lifetime of free bar drinks at the bar. They also had cash prizes for second and third place. I don't remember how much, but it was a lot at the time. The result was a packed bar. Tons of girls entered, and tons of guys spent money. My friend's girlfriend at the time now his wife won first place. She was stoked. He was excited. Within a couple of weeks, the building was condemned and torn down. Turns out the owners of the bar knew that the building was going to be condemned and just wanted to have one last party. As a consolation prize for losing on a TV game show I was given a popcorn popper, a little girl's bicycle and a lifetime supply of dinty more beef stew. I gave the popcorn popper as a Christmas present and sold the bicycle. When the beef stew arrived it was one case of 12 cans. After trying the first can I realized that the other 11 would indeed last me a lifetime. I won a lifetime supply of donuts up to a dozen per day, at a local bakery, and it lasted two years until the original owner died and his a-hole son took over the business. Ryanair, a European budget airline, awarded its millionth passenger free flights for life. After nine years, they reneged on the deal so she took them to court. The judge awarded her 60,000 euros to buy her own flights, her legal costs were more than three times that, but Ryanair had to pay those as well. Given the relatively low cost of Ryanair flights, 60,000 euros probably buys her at least 6 flights a year for the next 50 years. I won the cash for life $1,000 a week lottery about 10 years ago. Every year I send them proof I'm still alive, and they send me a check for $52,000 in the mail. When I bought my bicycle, the shop policy was that any new bike purchased included free tune-ups for life. Personally, I thought this was a great business move, because it got me back in the store regularly to redeem my tune-ups, kept my bike running smoothly which kept me as an active cyclist, active cyclist equals active customer, and I also would regularly buy parts service beyond the tune-up when I was there. Which I was happy to do since I had a good relationship with the shop through this free tune-up deal. When the shop changed owners, they discontinued the tune-ups. Even for people like me who had purchased their bike under these terms. I don't go there anymore. My parents won a lifetime supply of toiletries. Soap, toilet tissue, and some other stuff. Once per quarter, you mail in the coupon and they send you another quarter's worth of stuff. It's all institutional grade. Like what you'd expect prisoners to use. I won a lifetime of free oil changes for my car. It was during a sale the dealership was having where you had to take a photo with your pet and the person who most resembled their pet one. I don't know if I should feel happy or concerned about that one. What they did fail to mention is that it was lifetime oil changes for the vehicle I had and I couldn't transfer it to anyone else. 
so when my dad took over my car loan they dropped that little tidbit of info on us. Only really lasted me for about 2 oil changes. <coughs> Lifetime supply of M&M candies. They sent 52 bags all at once. <coughs> I once won a year's supply of Pepsi from a local radio station. The contest was finding specific serial numbers on a dollar bill and being the first to call into the station. The year's supply was a case. My dad won a lifetime supply of cat food, but A they delivered it all at once, and B, our cats didn't like that flavor, of course. We donated it all to local animal shelter who were super pleased. I bought, not one, a lifetime membership to Pure VPN. After just 5 years, they reneged on that and said, no, you only purchased 5 years, I showed them the receipt, and basically got, well we don't honor that anymore. Sorry. Thankfully I bought it through a stack social, so when I reported that to them they hooked me up with a different lifetime VPN provider instead. Screw paying monthly for something I barely use. I took my kids to a pizza buffet place when they received a free kids meal coupon for good grades. The cashier mistakenly charged us for the meals. When the manager came out to correct the transaction, I said he could just return the coupon and not worry about it. He gave us an entire stack, about 50, of unused coupons that were attached together like a checkbook. We got free kids meals until they obviously reached the age limit. My uncle gets free Ben and Jerry's for life. He's been friends with the actual Ben and Jerry since before they opened the first shop. He has a card that says free ice cream for life and he can get pints or cones at any scoop shop, at least locally. He also gets decks of free pint coupons that he can use at grocery stores and gas stations. When Unilever bought them out they tired to buy back all the free ice cream for life cards I guess it was a fairly generous offer because my uncle is one of only a few that chose to keep the card. 18 years ago we won a lifetime of vet visits for my cat. They expected to give it to someone with an old pet, not a new kitten. The cat's still alive. The vet clinic has moved and rebranded 4 or 5 times, but they are still honoring the award. Edit, lifetime of routine checkups. Treatments and operations still had to be covered by us. I won free groceries for life at my local grocery store in a raffle. They give me a digital $100 gift card once a month, which is wonderful, however it doesn't even cover a week of groceries. It will end when the total given has reached $10,000. I've got about $4,000 left. Back in 1977 when I was 13 years old, I won a contest for a lifetime supply of models from Revel. A semi-truck pulled up to our house in a very quiet suburban neighborhood and proceeded to unload four pallets of plastic models in the driveway. There were hundreds of models, probably one of everything they offered in their catalog at the time. I kept about two dozen which kept me busy for a year or so. My father helped by finding a local retail hobby store to buy the rest of them at a very favorable price so we could just get rid of them. He put the money into US savings bonds for me, which I cashed out many years later to use for a down payment on my first new car. One free movie rental from Blockbuster every week. And well yeah no. I won a lifetime supply of AA and AAA batteries from a major Canadian tech retailer about 20 years ago. Thing is, batteries last a long time and there really isn't that much that I use batteries for. Hypothetically I could start a black market battery business by just getting my free batteries and selling them to people in need, but it's just not worth the time. Even getting the batteries isn't worth the time. I have to get them to type in my name in their system, and there's a note by my name indicated that I get free batteries because I won a contest 20 years ago. And then they run, and get their manager to look at it, because that looks suspicious. And then the manager looks at it, and then asks me questions and then they finally relent and give me my free batteries. I won free RBs for a year. They sent me $420 in gift cards. I won a year supply of Pepperidge Farm Milanos when I was in college. My BF and I ate them all, in like 3 months. 3 glorious months. I know someone who won a free gas for life contest, many years ago. 
they get a $100 gift card every month. Not necessarily one but I bought a lifetime membership at one of my favorite nightclubs concert venues early in the pandemic. They released a limited amount as a covid fundraiser, and they went fast and will likely never do something like it again, so it feels a bit like I won. Came with free entry plus one, code check, and two drink tickets at every event at the venue, even sold out once, for life. Several, edit, a couple, years out I've gotten more value than the cost, I'm still on the list for every event, and most of the staff there know me, partly cause I'm there a lot and also cause I tip well on those drink tickets. I'll often just drop by for random events artists I'd never heard of, or dip in for a half hour at a sold out event with a $50 plus door cover, just to say hello to some friends. I imagine someday the venue will close up shop and my lifetime membership will close with it. In elementary school I got the option to choose a lifetime supply of chocolate milk or a cruise vacation. My parents chose the cruise vacation when I wanted to choose the choxy milk instead. They ended up going without me which hurt my feelings. I'm financially free now and travel every month and whenever they ask me to bring them along I always bring it up. Edit, my school had a milk program where every lunch I would get a small carton of chocolate milk and there was a prize if your milk carton mood when opening it. I had a friend in college who won a lifetime supply of Gillette razors. They just sent him a crate of Mac 3 razors and refill cartridges and that was that. It was just a one time shipment but it would be hard to get through that many razors in one lifetime. My mom almost ate the white M&M that they promoted like 25 years ago if you find it, send it in, you get a lifetime supply of M&M's they sent us a voucher pack, that almost no store would take, but still managed to make it though the lifetime supply in about 1 month, granted there was 8 siblings, probably for the best though. When I was a kid I won a contest online which included a lifetime supply of Huber Bubba bubble tape, I don't remember the exact amount. But I think it was about a dozen boxes of gum. They also sent me a small boom box and hockey jersey with a Huba Bubba logo on it. I got sick of it pretty quickly and it had a shelf life. A friend and I wound up using it all for a school project where we had to make a model of the town from the book The Outsiders. We made the entire model out of gum and it was disgusting. Our jaws got sore from chewing all the gum so we wound up dipping it in water instead. Our teacher docked us points for creativity. 20 years later and I'm still pretty mad about that, wow I was not expecting this to get so many responses. I should clarify that we lost points because it wasn't creative enough. Reading these responses really validates my anger lol. Stay golden everyone. I once worked a job that had me purchase subway sandwiches for mobile working crews and let me keep the tickets, when you could fill the card up for free sandwiches. All the tickets were numbered and purchases valid. After 2 years I had enough tickets and receipts to redeem multiple sandwiches daily for at least 6 months if I wanted, and still accruing more. I started filling the cards and giving them to friends to eat a free lunch. Within 1 month, my friends and I were banned from every subway in a 5 mile radius in Los Angeles. They put our pictures up on the wall and refused to honor the stamps, no matter who brought them in. Inside of another 2 years. Subway corporate cancelled the stamps altogether and no one would accept them. I couldn't even give them away to a food bank or the homeless to get a free sandwich. Thanks Subway. My mother bought a Toyota Yaris years ago and the dealership was running a tires for life promotion. She gets free tires whenever she needs them, but she has to do all of her maintenance work at the dealership, and the deal won't transfer if she sells the title. The dealership didn't run the promo for long and she was told recently she's the only participant left from the promotion. Didn't win a lifetime's worth, but won a year's worth of non-perishable food. Every month we'd get two or three massive boxes filled with all sorts of non-perishable food. It last for about nine months before something changed behind the scenes with the company, they got back in touch with us a few months after the year was up and told us we still had three months credit, so we told them to surprise us. This all happened years ago and we've still got some of it left. Won a lifetime supply of mini chocolate milk cartons during a milk day at school, lol. If you opened a carton of milk and it mooed at you, you had to call the number on it and report that you have mooing milk. 
that was in 2007. I'm still getting milk shipped to me, lol my fee and K drinks it because I've grown to hate milk. I won a year's worth of coffee at Dunkin Donuts. They gave me a coupon book with 4 coupons per month for 12 months. My partner won a year's worth of Vans shoes, they sent him 4x 99% off vouchers. I didn't really win it and it was only a year's supply. But I got a year's supply of Hot Pockets when I was 17, because I bit into a Hot Pocket that had no filling, and I sent them an email pretending to be my mom, complaining about it. To my surprise they actually replied and sent me a golden coupon that was good for a year. I ate so many Hot Pockets that I hate them now and haven't had one since. Not exactly lifetime, but I once won a 5000 euro one year voucher, at a pizza place. And it lasted a year. I spent the last 75 euros on the very last day. My parents did twice in a relatively short period of time. The first was at fair when I was in high school. They advertised it as a lifetime supply of ice cream sandwiches. They ended up giving us 100 boxes all at once. Right there on a warm July day. My mom was only able to collect at the end of the day so there wasn't even that many people to hand them out to. We got home and had about 60 left after giving away as much as possible and throwing out what didn't fit in our freezer. I played lots of sports so I ate a lot and my parents just said I could eat as much as I wanted anytime I wanted. I went through 60 boxes in couple months. That was a good time but not so good for my weight. The second was when they bought an expensive microwave about a year later and won a 5 year supply of microwave popcorn. Basically the same thing happened. We got huge box with like 200 packages and I was told to eat as much as I wanted. After living in a house that smelled like popcorn for a few weeks my parents just threw the rest in the garbage. I won a year's worth of Tombstone pizza from a coca cola bottle cap thing as a kid. They sent 52 coupons to use at the grocery store for a free pizza. My mum won a lifetime supply of surf. The washing powder. Basically we got 72 8 8kg boxes all at once on a pallet from some kind of raffle competition. Ended up selling 60 boxes for about £10 each to corner shops and splitting the rest with some family. She didn't have enough room and didn't even remember entering the competition itself. There was also a bunch of washing liquids and shit from the rest of their range, one of each type too. <coughs> Lifetime free oil changes when I bought my car. When they sold the dealership the new owners didn't honor that. I won a year of free chula. It's a fast casual Indian restaurant. They give a year of free food, via a coupon book with 52 cards for free meals, to the first 100 customers at any location. I saw that the line was short on the way to work and called everyone in the office to get in line. We had all our business meetings at Chula for a year, with the company paying for meals when people ran out of coupons, didn't have them, or we hired anyone new. The food was perfect because if you ate vegan, paleo, gluten free, or any combination there was something on the menu you could eat. We still use them for company catering because everyone likes the options. When a new tropical smoothie cafe location opened in our neighborhood, they ran a promotion for free smoothies for a year for the first 50 people in line on opening day. My husband made me stand in line for 3 hours before they opened. We were 24th and 25th in line. The free smoothies for a year was limited to one smoothie per week. Still, we each had 52 free smoothies. Not a bad deal. Not a lifetime supply, but I won a year supply of Chipotle entrees once came as a stack of 52 free burrito cards with a gilded farmer embossed on one side and a unique code on the other. At the time, they didn't limit what I put on these freebies or when I use them, so I gave away a lot to friends, family, and the occasional homeless guy and told everyone to add guac and double meat and make the most of it. I did keep one as a memento, which I still think I should frame. Won a year's worth of movies from 7-Eleven when they did a MCDS Monopoly style contest back in the early 2010s. They sent me $1,300 in gift cards for Cineplex, when movies were $13 for a ticket. So a couple could go once a week. 
With points cards and club memberships I milked those gift cards for 3 years. To be fair though, there aren't 50 movies a year I want to see in a theater. My father played a game on teletext back in the days and won a lifetime supply of some beer. However, they cheated him and only sent him a party keg. My dad was a programmer, so he wrote a program which played for him cards on teletext. If the program was about to lose because of bad cards, it quit the channel and logged in again automatically again for the next run. The program was playing day and night, and after some weeks, he had won several TV sets, video cameras, cruises, you name it. Eventually, the organizer of the game locked my father out which was illegal. So he sued the company which organized the game and reached an agreement, they paid him an amount of about 10k, and he never played again. So instead of a lifetime supply of beer, he got a lot of stuff and this is why I, as a teenager, had my own video camera, which, at this time, was so expensive that people had to lease them. I won a year's worth of chicken from a Lebanese chicken shop. I was licking my lips at the thought of free chicken for a year especially drowned in enough garlic dip to ward off Dracula himself. Reading the fine print though it was only $20 a week for 52 weeks, you could drop $30 40 for one person, easy, in a sitting. I once waited out a McDonald's for the grand opening. The first 100 people got free fries for the year. I was number 3. It consisted of a box of 365 coupons for free medium fry. I think we gave away maybe 200 plus of them. It was maybe 13-14 years ago now.